welcome now i am covering the topic cash flow statement for class 12 second pc under this cash flow statement three different topics are there out of that the very first topic i am covering now operating activities under indirect method the format is that indirect method of operating activities operating activities okay the very first one we have to consider the net profit and with that net profit add depreciation and amortization the depreciation will be calculated on the fixed asset and amortization is the goodwill return of or any intangible asset intangible assets return of next one is the loss on sale of asset asset in the sense once again fixed asset and next one is the increase in current liabilities and decrease in current assets the serial number second third and fourth if you observe that the same opposite only will be into the less items less items the very first second one you see that loss on sale of asset and the opposite here it is profit on sale of asset decrease in sorry increase in current liabilities and in less item decrease in current liabilities in add item you can see that decrease in current assets in opposite less item you can see that increase in current asset and note that the current asset does not include cash in hand and cash at bank and the current liabilities does not include the bank over draft for the class 12 level this is the very simple problem but if it is into the under graduation and the higher studies means that the problem will be very lengthy problem now when you total and list these items then the answer you get it is called as the cash generated from operating activities with that cash generated from activities you have to deduct the income tax paid then the answer what you get it is cash inflow or outflow from operating activities which i made it is the very simple format there the lengthy format is there we have made it a shortcut to the extent of class 12 students now we look into the problem calculate cash flow from operating activities net profit that's going to be the very first entry depreciation plus loss on sale of machinery that is the fixed asset plus profit on sale of land minus trade payable increased <coughs> trade payable is the current liabilities increased will be plus trade receivable decreased decreased will be plus because it is the current asset next inventory increased inventory means stock the stock is current asset current asset increased is the minus and expenses payable decreased expenses payable means that current liabilities decreased you should minus and income tax paid at last we have to minus it that's it now the very first entry net profit given in a problem is 250000 with this add some of the entries and less some of the entries so the very first one as per problem is depreciation shown 25000 just you write it as only depreciation and now I am writing with the serial number 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't consider this question, this point with the question number that. Question number point is different and working out answer number is for understanding purpose one below the other serial number. The very first one I am writing here it is depreciation. Try to write all the plus item into the inner column. And at the same information that different authors will follow the different way of follow writing the amount some person will write directly into the amount column some person will write the plus and minus one below the other but ultimate final answer will be same now depreciation over 
second one is loss on sale of machinery that is also plus item serial number 2 loss on sale of machine the amount is 45,000 third one is next point we are going to see profit on sale of land so the profit on sale of land is the minus item so under that less item profit on sale of land the amount is rupees 1 lakh after that the next point we are going to discuss here it is trade payable increase that is current liabilities increased so third point trade payable increased the amount is 12,000 and the next one is you can see that trade receivable decreased 15,000 so trade receivable decreased also is the plus item fourth one is the trade receivable decreased decreased the amount is 15,000 okay next one is the inventory increased inventory increase will be the minus item rupees 28,000 inventory increased so inventory increased is the current asset the amount is 28,000 and the next point is expenses payable decreased expenses payable decreased is the current liabilities that will appear into less item expenses payable decreased the amount is 5000 now last one it is pending is given income tax paid rupees 3000 that should be calculated later now total up all the plus item there are four plus items are there 25 45 12 and 5 15 7 0 0 007 and 347,000. The plus item is 347. Sorry, 97,000. Now, this 97,000 added with this 2,50,000 rupees, you get a total of 3,47,000. Now with this 3,47,000 you should minus this 3 item 1,28 plus 5, 1,33,000. This 1,33,000 if you minus the answer what you get it is 2,14,000. This 2,14,000 is called as the cash generated from operating activities cash generated from operating activities at last from this we have to minus income tax income tax given in a problem is 3000 then the final answer is 211000 this 211000 is the positive answer therefore it is called as the cash flow from operating activities cash flow from operating activities when plus answer means that inflow cash inflow from operating activities thank you very much